Hello, time for the title. Um, you remember a couple movies ago, though, when I was getting the go to time messed up? I can't believe I was going command shift J. It's because of age or whatever. Um, but I want to uh, bring in the go and the green. Um, remember that um, to bring in files in my step that I described to you, I say please go on sub 14 to bring in. I'm going to just double click the import window you backtrack to the stills footage and um, in the go green type layers remember to single click on this and import it as composition retaining layer sizes but I'm going to cancel it because I already have them in there so I'm going to go into stills and there is my go and my green now I'm going to shift click both of these and I'm going to bring them down here but I want to bring them in um, when the time is about at 510 because I don't need them before 510 so I'm going to go option shift J silly man um, and I'm going to bring them into 510 and let's um, drag these two down just above the um, commonized color adjustment layer. Now let's go in here and um, take um, and since it's at 510 now I can move this down to 610 which is when I was at 511. Okay uh, let me go to 610 I'll change that later. Um, and now this is where I need to get close to these and just pick up the word go and green. Um, I'm going to have green actually be in front of go. So I'm going to pick up the word go and just kind of place it nicely in there. And then I'm going to click on green and I want the G of the green over here to actually overlap that. that and it's kind of too big now. So I'm going to hit the S button and scale that down just to be it right there and just move it down like this. Now let's grab the word go and just position it so that this is kind of on, on, a nice arrangement so it has a good balance and a good feel in there I'll shift click both of these um, and just move them both up just a pinch over here so they're kind of have nice room so the Sun frames them nicely command s to save the file now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna now parent green uh, to go and then I'm gonna when I put in the leaves on here I'll parent those to go as well now this is the movement that you have to have at um, at 610 so I'm gonna set the first key if I click on go and hit the P for position um, I can actually put the stopwatch in right now because that's where I want them now if I actually grab the word go after I go back to option shift J at 510 Okay, that's 510. Um, I'm going to hit a stopwatch now. Uh, not a stopwatch. I'm going to just move them. So I'm going to grab the word go and just move it off screen. So now when I do the animation, watch how it comes in like this and it's kind of nice. Now I'm going to hit command S to save and then preview it. And watch how the words go green don't really flow nicely to a stop when everything else does. Okay, I'm going to fix that by adding to the um, final keyframe where it's in the middle of the Sun I'm gonna add an easy in so let's go to keyframe assistant easy in hit command s to save the file and RAM preview it okay so now that comes in it has the appearance of being affected by the camera but it was just two easy position keyframes not a big deal now what I want to do is add some leaf growth to this some some leaves that are popping out of this so I'm gonna use this um, comp here uh, my original comp where I had my um, original leaves come in. I, I went to this comp so I could show you something. This is how the leaves are going to pop in. So look at how the leaves just pop in in the staggered order starting from here working their way around to the upper leaf. And then I changed the color on a couple of those. So what I'll do is I'll go to the plant comp and I'll grab the bottom two leaves. Just one and let me make sure that I have two different leaves. Yeah, one and two okay those are two different leaves I believe yes let me hit command C so let's grab these and I don't care what order they're in let's just go like this now let's move forward to the comp over here and then above the text is where the leaves are gonna go so let me hit command V to paste and move them in now right where this is done its final movement is when I can start having the leaves pop out so what do we do? We just start the first leaf in the first place where we want, place the leaf in there. So let's hit S so we can see them grow. Let's move this up. And now let's find the first leaf, which is probably off the screen somewhere. See where it is? It's way down there. Let's go grab that first leaf. Where did it go? Where, oh, where is my first leaf? Where are you? 
Oh, would help if I actually showed the leaf. There it is. Okay, let's bring the leaf up, put it on the screen up here. Let's actually bring the second leaf up off screen so I can, at least so I don't have to go down there again. Okay, now there's the second leaf. Now, let's go right next to the word, um, let's move this one out of the way and let's start with the first one. So now let's have this one pop in, um, which is fine. It pops in nice and fast. And let's now change the size. So first we're going to take the leaf and we're going to put it where we want. I want it to grow off of this first. So I'm going to hit the W key and I'm going to position this coming down like that. Hit the V key and move it in. Now I don't want it that big, of course. So all I have to do is make this be really small. If that was 100, let's go to 50. I just want a small leaf. Let's go here to 40 and let's go here to 50. And that may even be too big. So let's go in. Mm, that still is a little too big. So let's go to 40, 30, and 40. Now I'm going to use the second one. That actually looks pretty good. So when it pops in, it goes boop, boop, boop. And now let's take the second one, which I want to show all the way. So let's hit the S key so I can see where the scale keyframes are. Let's grab it put it right on the bottom of that one and hit the W key. And you can put, whoops, let's click it, hit the W key and turn it inside. There, now I'm actually gonna put two on this one and then I'm gonna put, um, I'll probably put less as we work our way around this whole system here. So now there's two. Now let's go in and double click this one. This one was 100, let's again go to 50. Yeah, that's good, let's go to 40 and let's go to 50. Command S to save. And now look at how this comes in like this. It goes boom and then boom. So now we have a nice relationship coming in as this works its way around. Let's go back just a little bit. Remember, I've really zoomed in on these. So now um, I'll take the second one. Uh, actually, let's take this one and move it. No, I want that one there. And let's take a copy of this one. And let's maneuver this one over, then this one gets moved over with the S key. Now what I want to do is darken this one just a little bit. So I'm going to move it over. I'm going to grab this one and put it right down. So let's hit the W key. Zoom in. W key and turn this one over. Let's go like this. Let's go like that and put this coming in just like this. So it comes in just like that. And now let's move it over like this. Double click it. Uh, this one's 50. Let's go 40. 30 and 40. But let's put a curves in here so I can actually darken this one. So now let's go in, whoops, that's the wrong curves, Mr. Sorio. Let's take curves and put it on the second one. Okay, now in curves, let's darken this one ever so slightly. So it just looks like it has kind of a nice little darkness to it. So both of them aren't the same exact color, okay? Now, now we, all we have to do is work our way around. And you can see how they're kind of coming in like that, like that, and like that, which is to me is kind of nice. I'll move them down just a little bit to offset them a little bit more. Now, let's take the second one, um, the third one, and duplicate it, move it down, hit the S button, and move it to the outside, hit the V key, grab this one and have this one come off the letter N, but on the opposite side. So let's go down like this, hit the V key and move this around. Okay, fine, that one's good. Now let's go to um, the first one that we did, which was up here, hit the duplicate key, move this one up in the layer palette over here, move this one over, hit the S button so we can see the whole leaf, there we go. Uh, offset it like we did, hit the V key so we can move this one over here, hit the W key and turn it, hit the V key and put it in place. Now let's make this one really small. So let's have this one grow off the bottom of the letter N, just like that, okay? That looks kind of silly to tell you the truth. Um, let's have this one grow in the middle of the letter N, but let's have it be smaller. So this one is 40, let's go to 30, 20, and 30. Now, that's fine. Let's do one off. Um, and the, 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 the. Let's take um, this same one we did and duplicate it. Pick it up and put it off this letter here. Let's hit the W key and move it up. I always do that, don't I? 
Let's go like this and hit the S button. Okay, now let's go inside it, Mr. Sorial. Get close, hit the V key, and now put it off of here. Good. And then we're going to go do two darker ones off of this. So let's grab first this one, which is this one, and duplicate it. Let's move the duplicate up to the top. Now let's hit the S key and move it, stagger it over, just like that. And we're going to make sure it has where it's going to match the color on the element. So let's hit the V key, pick this one up. Let's hit the W key and turn it. The V key and place it in. Now I want the color to match that one really nice and it's way too big. So let's go 30, 20, 30. So now that we've got that looking kind of neat, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll go up a little bit more on the rotation. Let's now make this go to curves. So let's hit the E key and see if I have a curves there. Let's get close on it and let's now adjust it in curves so that it matches the color better right there. So there we go. Command S to save, hit the V key. Let's click back to the project window. And now if I click away and I close all, let me zoom this up. Okay, cool. And let's click all of these. And now let's close this. And now we have, um, let me hit Command S to save. Let's do our animation. So let's see what that looks like, okay? So this comes in and boom, 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 boom. Probably needs one more little, little, to, to make it nice, it needs one more little one to come off of here. But actually, I like the way that looks. So the title comes in comes in, the leaves pop up on it, and we're good to go. All we need left is the butterfly. So I'll glance over here and say, let's go to page nine. And yes, sir, we start the butterfly. I'll see you next movie.